Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Kareem Clements. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This is Kareem in the morning. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Again, I'm Kareem, and this is Kareem in the morning. How you guys doing? I know I've been back. Well, I've not been gone, but I'm back right now. All right, so yes, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys, let me just go ahead and roll this right here real quick. Okay, so welcome, welcome back to the show. I'm going to give you guys some stories that I want to give my opinion on and just basically get your guy, get your opinion in the comment box or you know maybe you guys probably had a interest in the story i know it was brought to my attention about the story that i'm going to give you guys all right so let me just go ahead and fix this right here all right um, let's see. all right okay so first of all i want to say shout out to the Bryant family on the two-year anniversary that passed on Kobe Bryant that went down on the other day. And I want to say that I was very, very impressed by the statue that they put at the crash site. It was him and his daughter. So, you know, that is a, a area that a lot of people feel a more sacred area because that's where Kobe Bryant died at okay and not just kobe bryant not just just his daughter but other people who was on that helicopter on that sunday morning okay so the two years has passed by okay and you guys could go up on the omega studio news and talk show t twitter to go view that photo and it's just amazing okay it's amazing a lot of murals had opened up around it was opened up the day that he died like the day that he died like maybe like a week two weeks three weeks later you know it was a lot of murals that was opening up a lot of basketball courts that was opening up where you know uh they had honored him across not just the country but around the world okay it was just so sad when that happened but the only thing we can do is just live and just keep the memories of Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and all the other victims that perished on that fateful day. Okay, so uh, shout out to the Bryant family. And uh, my next story is going to be about, uh, it's still on the same story. It's still on the same, um, you know, Kobe Bryant. But this story has to do with Kwame Brown rants about Dwayne Wade let in Zaire Wade wear Kobe Bryant's dress. Now listen to listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. If Ms. Zaire Wade wants to wear a dress that has eight, nine, twenty-two, yellow, pink, blue, Kwame, why is it your problem? Why is it your problem? Are you upset because he has a dress on but that she has a dress on are you upset because Dwayne Wade's parenting skills is not looking good in your favor or in your eyes or do you have something against transgender people what is the problem because usually when people who are out in society they don't know how to express themselves on how they can talk about certain issues that are bothering them so the only way that can do that is to make a video make a video and a heterosexual man making a video about a, a, a person another person daughter wearing a dress and you're saying that that's not the way that uh the bryant or anybody of kobe bryant would want to honor uh, uh uh him honor kobe bryant in a dress who said 
he was who said that she was honoring uh Kobe Bryant uh in the dress for the memorial maybe she could have been honoring Gigi maybe she could have been honoring the other females that was killed on the plane but what is it what what's it to you what's it to you Kwame Brown what's it to you why do you have a problem because he's a formal oh you're a formal NBA and 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 he's a a uh, partner in the whole league and you just have a problem with that the parenting skills i'm just saying or do you have a problem with transgender people because obviously and, you know i watched their video you know and it, it wasn't that really that many people watching it or whatever but it was just so sad that you were sitting there on your bed and you were talking about somebody else's child just period. Talking about somebody else's child. You went online, even TMZ picked it up. You went online and you read and you read about the fact that Zymir Wade wore a dress to tribute Kobe Bryant Memorial. And you had a problem with that. And you decided to go on your platform when you could talk about anything else in the world climate control politician what's happening in the nba you know lebron james all that other stuff the teams but you want to talk about zamir wade miss our miss zaya wade you want to talk about her i don't understand i really don't understand so let's let's see here so uh, Zaire wore the yellow Kobe dress uh, and captured a post, always remembering and honoring Kobe and Gigi. So here we have this guy who uh, definitely saying that the late Kobe Bryant was disrespected. He wasn't disrespected because of that. He was disrespected because of this. Because you decided to make a video about this why you just didn't take that two minutes or time to honor kobe bryant why you just didn't honor him by just talking about the good things about it when you just wanted to smear somebody's name and make a muck as the late beth chapman would say uh you a muck you're making a muck out of this for what views and likes subscribes more people in the in the social media lands across the lands just messing but i'm just saying so you decided to do that so here it says i'm not saying there's anything against homosexual yes you are saying that bro like i don't care what you're saying because you may not say it verbally verbally you're not saying it but by you doing this whole muck this video and 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 put in the title that right there right there is homophobic see you got to look at the beginning to 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 put at the end okay you got to go back so when you say i'm not saying there's nothing against homosexual but kobe is a heterosexual man okay how you know what goes down in the bedroom with him and, and vanessa how you know how you know what goes down in the bedroom with them you don't you don't know heterosexual man why is he being honored by making his jersey into a dress so the what why are you coming up on social media talking about how it's disrespectful about the way somebody's honoring somebody there's a there's millions of people in this world and you decided to pick one person who decided to honor Kobe Bryant the way she wanted to honor her him and that you felt disgusted about it because you decided to come out on social media and talk about this like it's a problem. It's a problem for you. When you're saying it's contradicting your words, when you're saying no, you don't have anything against it. Let's continue. Wear his goddamn jersey for the day to honor him without the dress part. So what? Why are you honoring him with the dreads? Why you ain't cut his hair? Why you ain't honor with the whole, uh, um, you know, the way the servicemen do it? They cut their hair and they fresh cut. Why you got your dreads out? Why you or your braids and your your face not shaved? Okay, 
Why? Why? It's just the same thing. He wanted to do it. She wanted to do it in the dress. You wanted to do it in your dress or in your braids or in, in your shirt. However you wanted to do it on your stream or stream yard on live. So you did it that way. She did it her way. So let's continue. Let's please not show our black brother in this light. This is no offense to nobody else. This man was a heterosexual man with a wife and family. There's no reason for this to be tied to Kobe Bryant. No whatsoever. Here we go. Here we go. Back to what I said. See, people don't express it verbally. People don't express it verbally on their true feelings, but they do, they do it in things like this. They do it in things like this. They make videos and they say statements like this, contradicting one statement, one statement prior to that. So you do have a thing against homosexual. You start off saying, I'm not saying there's nothing against homosexual. So what is it? What is it? Why do you care? Why do you care the way Miss Zaya Way honored the late Kobe and Gigi? Why do you care? How do you know there wasn't people out there honoring Kobe Bryant in panties? And they were boys. They have panties on. And they was walking around and they got Kobe Bryant labels all around the panties and they was running around. How do you and what do you care about it? They was on the beach with towels celebrating the fact that Kobe Bryant is in heaven and he's not suffering anymore. Why do you care? Why do you care the way she honored Kobe and Gigi's life? Why? Because you have a problem with it. And you have a problem that is deep inside you that you need to go and sit down with a counselor or a therapist and pretty much get it out. Talk about it. It's okay. But stop making a muck out of all this. Stop making a god darn muck out of this. So the fuck what? So what? Go over there, little Bozy. And ask him why he decided to do with his kids in that stripper. Go over there and, and ask him that. Okay? Go over there and ask those other people, okay, why they decide to molest those kids. Go over there and ask uh, 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 um, uh, Maxwell why she decided to uh, do what she did. Go over there and ask Jesse Smollett why he decided to do what he did with those people in the bathhouse. Go over there and ask them that. There's a lot of issues. That you could talk about, but you decide to talk about something that is a problem with you, and that is homosexual. You have a problem with homosexual. You have something against homosexuals. You do. Transgenders. You have something against transgenders. That's exactly what it is, because you decided to make a video about her wearing a dress. And I just don't understand why, why you do it. I really don't. But it is what it is. Okay, welcome back to Kareem in the Morning. Before I continue, I just want to say right here. Warning, the views expressed on this opinion is expressed on this program as just the views and opinions. Don't take of this, take any of this serious, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, my next story that I would like to talk about and I will give my opinion on, I would like to talk about a mayor. Maryland's black gay mayor found dead and police say suicide, but a lot of people saying that this man, 44, was murdered, okay? This story is very controversial. This story was sent in to the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T Bulletin, and 
I definitely wanted to get into this story. It was just hot off the press. And I was like, wait a minute, why is a mayor dead in a park? Okay, a park that happens to be a park that uh, uh, a lot of gay cruising going on over there, like a, a lot of gay activity goes on in that park. And it's so crazy because this man, so let's read in. The mayor of Hicksville, Maryland, is uh, located just outside D.C., is dead at 44. Police is calling his death a suicide when they believe that he may, because they found him with a, uh, a, a gunshot wound. So um, they're saying that um, they're saying that the family members and a friend who thinks the death deserves further investigation because the story is just kind of crazy. I would just use the word crazy because, no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm going to tell you why it's crazy. Because here it is. We have a gay mayor. He has two teens, sons, and he has he's married to a gay lover, okay? And, and he's openly gay. Right, so he served as the city council president of, of, of Highville, just located north of the border between Maryland and District of Columbia, and becoming a mayor at the end of 2020 when the mayor uh, uh, definitely stepped down and he was mayor elect in May of 2021. They're saying Ward's body was found, because his name is Kevin Ward, his Ward, Ward body was found by the United States Park police officer in a park. And they're saying that, uh, you know, it's kind of crazy because this is the same park that years ago, a White House council staff by the name of Vince Foster was found in that same park with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. You got two officials in this park. What, you have local officials, you got officials cruising the park. What the was he doing in the park or the street? 44 years old. So this is what I say when I talk about the whole LGBTQIA. This is what I mean when I say about the whole relationship part and how it's so messed up because you have something good going on at home with your husband and your kids. What the fuck are you doing at a park. Don't know the time when they found them. Don't really care. But why are you in a park known for a cruising area? But you was there doing some public service. Oh, yeah, you was doing public service, all right? Public service by cleaning up the neighborhood or cleaning up the park. You got yourself killed. You don't know what happened there. But it's just so strange because they saying that this park is popular... Uh, known among gay men who often go there to look for this discreet sexual hookups. Bathhouse hookups. Drugs? Did they find drugs in this in the system? I don't know. I'm just saying. You find the mayor there, he's dead. What was he closing the deal on a contract? What happened? The police definitely needs to investigate this. And you know, I will definitely look into the whole White House Council staff, the staffer who was found there, Vince Foster. You know, that story is definitely crazy because this is the same park what was he doing here but again it's just really sad a lot of people it's just mourning his death you know and i know his spouse and i know his kids is missing him so rest in peace any further investigation i'll definitely definitely break the news right here right now
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so my next story is going to be about T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison, Maddie Mob News. Okay, so yeah, so, you know, I love T.S. Madison. I love the things that she's doing. Shout out to her. I do want to say that T.S. Madison do have a new talk show out on Fox Soul, which is called Turnt Out. That's hashtag T-U-R-N-T out, O-U-T. Okay. And I want to say it premieres, on, oh, it's already premiered, but it goes down on Fox Soul on Tuesdays. Now, listen, this is what I have to say about this. Like, you know, I mean, it is what it is. And this is just my opinion and my opinion only. Look, man, Madison, you know, you have your channel. Fox Soul has theirs. My thing is, I don't understand why Fox Soul has or always put turned out and unlistened why why do you put it on unlistened so the way you can only go to the unlisted the way it is is either public unlisted or listed all right and or private public listed unlisted so if it's unlisted uh you have to get there through a link and the way i found it is when i went on because uh madison is on facebook uh i went to a link on there and i clicked it and then it took me to it because i was trying to find it on the wall of Fox Soul, and it was not there. Anything that's unlisted, it's not going to show. However, I noticed that they premiere certain things at certain times, so they would rerun it. Now, I don't know what the f is going on, but look, this is my opinion and my opinion only. This is what I think. I think it's some shit going on. Okay? I really believe, that's why I say, Madison, you got your own, and Fox Club got theirs. They got theirs. And this is how you build because I'm 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 learning all this and I'm learning how YouTube work and I'm learning how social media work and all this other stuff. Sometimes, oh, uh, uh, what is it called? It's called bottom feeders. Bottom feeders. Okay, bottom feeders. The bottom feeders are definitely feeding off of the talent that Sister Madison has, and they bring over. She brings over that over there to Fox O, and then Fox O definitely definitely gets subscribers they get views they get likes they get comments they get chat they get all that they get activity going on all right when that could be going on on madison's page okay and you know th that's a whole different topic or whatever what i say madison you know you, you can do something what oprah did when she has her own network you have people coming to you bitch bring the network to you Bring it to RDE Entertainment. Bring it there and have them eating out of your hands, bitch. Okay? But I'm, it's all good. It is all good. Listen, my thing is this. So when I see Fox Soul, and I know like a lot of people will see Turned Out up there, it is a very good uh, talk show. I like the fact that Madison definitely expands her horizon. She does this in a way that only she sees it, and when she sees that vision, she takes it and she makes something out of it. And this is what she's been talking about for many years, that she wanted to have her own talk show, and she has it here. And shout out to Madison, Turned Out. Is definitely, definitely a work creation. And shout out to Miss Mary Mackins. Holy Ghost got me shouting, tearing up my shoes. Okay. And shout out to uh, everybody who's making it happen behind the scenes for what turned out. But listen, honey, look, man, you got your own shit. Go on your page and do, because I really believe that it's some fuck shit going on. This just for the Maddie Mob News. Maddie Mob, that's M A D D I E, Mob, M A B B, News, N E W S, that's hashtag, okay, because we have two B's in it. So, Maddie Mob News, this is just me, me speaking on, on, I'm speaking on behalf of them. And the fact is, is that, look, keep doing your thing, sister. And, and shout out to Litania, who is doing her thing, okay? I know T.S. Madison After Dark was uh, canceled back in uh, last year, but uh, I definitely know that there's a lot of other things that is happening within the whole network, and you guys can follow the group page online, Facebook, social media, or just go to YouTube, follow T.S. Madison, or tune in on Tuesdays, I believe at 8 o'clock, turned out with, with T.S. Madison.
Okay, and last but not least, I would like to give my opinion on this. All right, so I do know that President Biden, President Biden has probably the opportunity to announce and make history a new uh, or add a, uh, a, a new judge to the panel. And I know there has been a lot of names out there, and I know that there is a lot of people that want the seat because it will be history. It will be a female and it will be a African American female. So I'm just gonna say the person who I would like to see in that seat. And I'm just gonna say her name and I'm just gonna end it. I would like to see Judge J. Michelle Childs as the next judge on the bench. All right. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Kareem in the Morning. I'll see you guys very soon. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one.